There's letters, 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 letters right here for this. What is today? I don't know what the date is. I don't care what the date is. 6th of December, 2021. Patty says, poor Felix <laughs> can't get a break. He goes to the Boondockers Bash to visit friends and guess who shows up as a sp surprise dinner guest? <laughs> you know, who. Uh, we hear that Felix, though, has a uh, very, um, let's just say, uh, the ru the rumbling around um, beautiful um, quartzite is that Felix and uh, uh, a chicky poo. Yeah, Felix has got a chicky poo. Oh, yeah. We're hearing a lot of rumblings. I don't know. what Tasmod, why is he saying this? When you have an itch on your back, it always seems that you can't reach it with your hand, you know, man. So is that true? Is that true at quartzite? Yes, is that you have it, you know, is that like having an itch somewhere that you can't reach? <laughs> and it drives you crazy. I guess this is as Bob's talking about Unstoppable Morgan calling her Unstoppable Drama. Well, you know, that's how you get people to watch your channel. Just keep the drama going, you know, get rid of the bugs. <laughs> Looking for land in Arkansas. I don't know. Even says, I think Chrome Van City Van Life got, the, got himself a shop at just the perfect time. I'm really for happy for him. I absolutely love the guy and the entire crew up there in beautiful C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. And with everything that is going on in the world, not to mention what's happening up there right now, I think having that shop to work on vehicles out of the weather and, uh, you know, and has generous friends to let him use it, it's a seriously cool idea. Again, we got a number of nomads now that are having shops. You know, they try, like, shacks. Shacks don't quite work. Uh, you know, ho home bases, they get kind of moldy and get torn down. But the shop... You know, you know, you can you can hang out inside your vehicle in your shop out of the wind, out of the rain, out of the cold. You got a place to stay in your vehicle. The shop seems like the perfect thing. Brian says, I used to look forward to you know whose videos. We'll just leave it blank, but not anymore. They're just boring. Again, we see so many uh, YouTube nomads that are just kind of out of content, and they're, they're trying to do this Vlogmas thing where they're putting a video up every day, and there just isn't any content there, so they've got to make some content up. And it is hard and cringy to watch. Crotchy and cringy. Hey, we are from Marie. Uh, these channels try to make it sound like RVing, camping, and nomading is terrible now. It's still cheaper than renting a place for $2,000 plus gas for the job, electric, water, sewer, and trash. You know, everything's more expensive today. Hotel rooms are more expensive. Uh, everything's more expensive today. So when you still put it in perspective, you know, um, you know, nomadic living is still cheaper than other th other things you know i mean rents jeepers creepers i've heard of people getting like like 30 40 percent rent hikes this year you know i mean that's not uncommon and uh you know hotel rooms dumpy rotten beat up hotel rooms for you know over well over a hundred dollars a night you know i don't know beantown 85 says i'd love it if my favorite youtubers posted every day instead of posting just one video every two months and i stuck and i stick with channels like camo daves that post multiple times a day seven days a week all year round you know again you don't have to watch everything i post you know but i post sometimes two and three and four videos a day because i like to you know Oh, we post too much. Well, you, okay, if you think I post too much, then don't watch. But, you know, if you see something pop up, watch it. I, again, nobody's, nobody's telling you they have to watch everything, you know. So, what the heck? Uh, RV Camper Marie, what kind of ending was that? Did Dave have a heart attack? I just ended the video yesterday, uh, this morning rather. Uh, I, for, I had a last, minute, a last segment, and for some reason, when I used the combiner, it didn't include that. I was just doing a shout out to RV Camper Marie, uh, basically to uh, say, hey, she got over 300 subs. We got her up over 300 subs. Uh, when I first met her a week ago, uh, a little more than a week ago, a week and a half ago, she only had like 175 subs. After that live stream we did Saturday two weeks ago, 
wait a minute, I met her like a week, whatever, I met her in Quartzsite two weeks ago. We did the live stream, not this past Saturday, but the previous Saturday. She got up well over 200 subs and went up to like 250, 270. And then with the last video that she did, you know, showing the video of me and her hanging out there all over Arizona, she's well over 300 subs. So please go sub to her now. Let's get her up to 400, 500. Yes, I'll put a link to her channel down below. Uh, www says, uh, www says, uh, I started watching you again, Dave, because you stopped being obsessed with this particular woman. Now she is back. Obviously, she's not paying me. She's not paying me, believe me. Please stop. Again, I talk about who I want to talk about, okay? And I realize that some of you guys don't like to hear about some of these people. You grow, not her again, not him again. Ah, hey, I just try to talk about what fascinates me. That's always what my channel's been about. And I realize that there are going to be times when you guys don't always see eye to eye with me. And it's totally fine for you to fast forward through the segments that you're bored with. I give you permission to do that. You can even skip a video if you don't like the clickbait. Oh, not her again. But, you know, I just, I talk about what I, what I want to talk about. Beats the earth and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I had to trim some of my subs for my bloated channel list, but Dave made the cut. A certain other person didn't. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Mark says I usually skip the vids when you put unstoppable in the uh, title, but I saw that you had other content. Yes, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I do. You know, again, I usually talk about many nomads in one video. Yeah, so if it's especially, especially if it's a nine minute or tw tw <laughs> you know, I was watching a video the other day, which was an interesting video. It was about um, Disney's Fast Pass system. I always, I don't care about the Disney videos where people just go to the park, but I like videos the you know behind the scenes at Disney and how it got to be so successful. All the parks and Disney, you know, Walt Disney. And this video was on the fast pass system, which I thought was great. And I put the video on and it's going for like half an hour and it doesn't seem like it's anywhere near ending. And then I look down and the video is like one hour and 45 minutes. That's longer than a movie. And I'm going, it's just the Disney fast pass system. Can't you make it quicker than, you know, you don't need an, two hours to tell me about that. That's ridiculous. A lot, number of people are commenting on Morgie uh, letting the dogs run in that park. You know, again, if it was a rural park, kind of, you know, out in the middle of nowhere, that's one thing, but you're letting your dogs run with no leashes on in a parky park with lights and, you know, there's a, there was some sort of a facility there. I don't know. You, I see that all the time too. You see people, um, you know, letting their dogs just run in the park and then they jump up on you and bark at you. You know, that's not right. You know, that's not right. You know, we, we saw the lady throwing her tongs into the food a couple years ago and we just said, that's not right. That particular nomad that we don't talk about anymore. And then we see people walking through, you know, really developed parks with their dogs off the leash. That's not right. And, uh, you know, this is a city park, it looked like. I don't know. The dogs could charge after something and whatever. I don't Bicyclists are there and lovers and cars. Finally, KCADV says, do people think YouTube thumbnails with them pointing at something or making faces like they're constipated attract clicks? <laughs> See the uh, the glamper lady. Um, well, okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here at Homer's, uh, it's a little early for happy hour yet, but I'm just kind of waiting. You know what's nice about the e being out west is um, you can make happy hour anytime you want. I you know, happy hour is like 5 p.m. for me. That's when I pour my vodka tonic there or whatever vodka cran apple. But uh, when you're on the West Coast, you just say, well, look, it's uh, 2 o'clock here, but it's 5 o'clock back home. It's happy hour, right? Just stay on Eastern time when you're out West, right? <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Letters, letters, letters for the 6th of December 2021. You have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Talk to you later, Vlog Under.